Hello and welcome to Livestream Kids Online. I'm Esther. I'm Isaac. I'm gonna have a really good time today. Yeah, Here we, we are. are. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Woo! Okay, are you ready for the first game today? Well, today we are going to play with some salt dough. Okay, so we've got some salt dough just here. It's a bit like Play-Doh. Um, homemade game, play -Doh. Homemade Play-Doh. So, if you're bored at home and you want something to do, get your parents to help you. Two cups of flour, one cup of water, no, one cup of salt, two cups of water, um, and then a little bit of oil. Edible Play-Doh. But it tastes a bit grim. But no, try to taste it. Taste some, taste some. <laughs> and you can put food colour in Tastes it as like well. Tastes like the beach. It does, it's very salty. But it is edible, if, in case you've got little ones. So, and you can put food colouring in it and make it look cool. So the game today, there you are, Ari wants to play with some already. There you go. Um, is, do you want to do it or should I do it? Mm, I'll do one, you do one. Okay, so we're going to make something with the Play-Doh and you need to guess what it is, okay? So, shall we say 30 seconds? Yeah. 30 seconds to make it and guess what it is. So, do you want all of it? It's really no, cold. You, you do one and I do one at the same, oh, I'm doing at the same time. Oh, I'm do it at the same time. Well, I was going to film you. Okay. All right, we're going to change camera angle so you can see us properly. <laughs> Are you ready, Isaac? I'm ready. Three, Let's go. two, one, go. 30 seconds. Okay. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. Twenty-five, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two. Sausage, twenty-one, twenty. I can't count and guess at the same time. Um, is it a person? A mushroom? No. Uh, okay. Have you guessed it at home? I'm not really sure what... What is this? This is definitely 30 seconds off. But I, I'm, I'm intrigued. A tree? A forest? It's a tree. A tree? It's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be a little forest. I've only done one tree though. Okay. Too a bit ambitious. Did anybody I'm... guess that at home? I think it looks like a, a tree. You know, just get a bit more. I think it looks like a mushroom. What trees are flat? flat? None, but I wasn't finished yet. Okay. Right, my go. Esther, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready, Ari? Ready. Hey, let's go. All right, I'm not going to use all of it because I don't need all of it. So. Oh, I don't know if it, people will get this one. You might be a bit young to uh, we'll have to see you, to won't get we? it. Ten seconds are up. Okay. Boom, boom. We'll give you 45 seconds. No. Oh, what's that? Oh. I think I know what it is. Do you know what it is at home? I think it's actually really good. I think it's really good as well, but I think people at home might be a little bit too young. To... Gonna hold it up and try and use it? They don't really use like ones like this anymore, do they? I'm gonna let me take these bit. Boom, boom, boom. Ring, ring. Show us, ring, show us ring. it. It's a phone. It's a phone, is that Ooh. right? Are you ready, Isaac? I think I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, Is it a snake? Not a snake. Is it a sausage roll? No, not a sausage roll. I'm going to grab this little bit here as well. We should have put food colouring in it. Oh. And then we could have like pink and blue. That would be cool. That would be cool. Alright, your 30 seconds is up. But it's I don't right. think we're living to this 30 seconds thing. Is it stones? Not stones. We are an altar of broken, broken stones. stones. Boom, 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 boom. The 
cross. It's a cross. That was a bad cross. <laughs> It's an upside, well, it's upside down for these guys. There we go. I think it looks more like it. It looks like Jesus on the cross, like he's got a head and then like arms and a body. It's supposed to be the cross. I bet it looks like a sword as well. It does, doesn't it? You could do like that. Boom. Boom. The sword. <laughs> it's meant to be the cross though. Boom. Esther. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Boom. So, put one there. And then. Ooh, what is it? What are we making? I don't know. Does anyone know? Anyone at home know what we're making? Is it a ladybird? A spider? No. Mm, do you know what it is at home yet? I think it's an animal. Is it an animal of some kind? Mm -mm. Hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, I wouldn't say an animal. Some people might say animal. Is it a man? <laughs> it's a human. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just so glad that mine didn't turn up like this. Mm. It's upside down for everyone, isn't it? Let me yeah. turn it around. Turn it around, turn it around. Oh, Ari's standing on the map. Nope. Boom, 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 boom. Hey! Say hello to Bob or Steve to Salt Dough. Okay, did you enjoy that? Yeah? Okay, you can try that at home as well with your parents' things or make things nicer and shows your models. So, someone look ha looks happy, doesn't she? Hello. Hello. Oh, 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 I'm not. She, I think you upset her. Sorry. She's got her African dress on today, hasn't she? Yeah. There we go. Next up, we are going to play... Bop it! Yay! Bop it real good. Bop it. Bop it. Okay. Bop it hey, remember how to play this one? So we've got, we have to stand up for this one, don't we? Yeah. Up we jump then. Yeah. Okay, so for this game, we have bop it. Bop it. Before we do this. Bop it. Bop. Do it with us. Bop it. Bop it. We bop have it. push it. Bop. Push it. Push it in the name of the Lord. Push it. Push it to the limit, limit. limit. Okay, yeah. we have flick it. And you have to pretend like you have a piece of, piece of dirt, something on your shoulder, you go flick, flick, like they're cool. Yes. Flick, flick. Then we've got twist it. Twist. And we've got spin it. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so if you're up on your feet, make sure you've got lots and lots of space. Don't trip over anything. I'm going to move this out of the way because I don't want to trip over Ari's toys. And then uh, let's get started. Shall uh, I start? What, are you shouting out first? Yeah, or, okay. Baby. And it's going to shout out. And me and you've got to like keep up. Keep up, okay. Fill my sleeves up. So I'll start, I'll start off nice and easy, okay? Okay. Bop it. Bop it. Spin it. Flick it. Twist it. Bop it. Spin it. Twist it. Flick it. Okay, we got it? Got it. So let's go. Bop it. Flick it. Twist it. Spin it, bop it, bop it, bop it, flick it, flick it, twist it, twist it, spin it, flick it, jump, ah, bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, flick it, spin it, push it, push it, spin it, flick it, bop it, spin it, flick it, flick it, spin it. Twist it and push it. Boom. Yes, yeah, so I got it that one. Yeah, it's a good swap. Oh, you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alright, starting slow again to give Isaac a chance. Are you this. ready? I'm ready. Calm down. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I'm ready. I'm we've got bop it. Bop it. Spin it. Push it. Twist it. Flick it. That's more like a wiggle, isn't it? Don't know. 
Okay, bop it. Bop it. Push it. Flick it. Flick it. Flick it. Flick it. Spin it. Twist it. Bop it. Oh! oh. Pushed it. <laughs> He's funny, isn't he? Should Can you do better than me? I bet they're kind of again? keeping up, aren't they? They're like, yeah, it's so easy. So we go again. Okay. In fact, why don't you get your parents up? Yeah, get your parents your, up. Come on, you parents, can have a competition who can last the longest, okay? Ooh. Who's doing the best? Ooh. Right then. I think the parents are going to lose. I think we need to see photos and videos yes. of parents v children yes. doing a bop it contest. All that your parents, is what we get need. up. There we go. See All right. Keep up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Stack yourself up. I've got Bop it. Bop it. it. Push it. Twist it. I, I twist that it. didn't give him much hope, did it? Let's do yeah, it again. Yeah. Let's start again. Bop it. Twist it. Flick it. Spin it. Push it. Bop it. Twist it. Flick it. Push it. Spin it. Bop it. You're really bad at this. I know. Really bad at this. Should we try again with me? Yeah. 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 So that like people at home actually have a chance to uh, right, move over, move over. I'm taking my socks off so they don't come off on the carpet. Professional. Three, two, really one, bad now, go. It? Bop it, bop it, flick it, flick it, twist it, twist it, spin it, push 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 it, and bop it, and bop it, and spin it, and flick it, and bop it, and bop it. And bop it, 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 and spin it, and spin it, and spin it, and spin it, and flick it, and flick it, and spin it, and push it, push it, flick it, spin it, bop it, bop it, spin it, twist it, twist it, bop it, push it, push it, bop it, bop it, spin it, flick it. That's just really good at this. I'm really good, you won't beat me. No. Try one more go with you then. Oh. Did you keep up at home? You'll have to let me know or else I'm going to take the title of the reigning champion at Bop It. So let me know if you beat me and we'll have a little contest. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I can do it this time. You I got this. I Shall I pray for you? Okay, Dear Lord Jesus, I just pray that you make Isaac good at this. Go. Right. Bop It. Bop It. Bop It. Bop It. Twist It. Flick It. Oh, it could be because I went slower. Yeah, let us know if you got on the parents. Take some Should photos. Always do it. You do it. Bop it. Bop it. Bop it. Flick it. Spin it. Push it. Twist. Boom! Yes! yes. Good job. <laughs> good, 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 good. Bye! Okay, so now it is time for our dance. So if you jump up on your feet, find a big, big space in the room so that you don't knock anything over. And today's dance is, we did it a couple of weeks ago, it's As the World Shake Shakes by Hillsong Kids. So we do a couple of punches, we do lots of shaking, and some other moves as well. Are you ready? Let's do this. That's it, side to side. All right, are you ready? We're gonna build, ready, start low. All right, turn the light on. Okay, we're going to do a circle. Now we're going to run our race. Are you ready? And change. Are you ready for a big shake? Off we go. And punch. Around a big circle and nod your head and again. Boom, boom. Are you 
back to our clicking. That was very good, well done. All right, from the beginning. Build the wall. Turn the light on. Round the circle. Okay, are you ready to run? One foot in front of the other. Okay, move forward. I trust you. Really shake, let's go for it. Woo! Boom, boom. That's it, and shake. And punch, boom, boom. Punch really hard. Poof, poof. Like a superhero. Okay, we're going to sway. That's it. Well done. All right, we're going to make a big wheel. Now, are you ready? All the way around. And shake this way. And shake that way. And we're going to kick the wall down. Big kick, woo! And the world. And shake side to side. And kick the wall down. Are you ready? Boom, boom! That's it, shake, shake! And again. good and that song is all about remembering no matter what is going on in the world when things look like chaos that God is always in control okay that's it for dancing today Whew, tired out. okay for our next game I need you Isaac to pick a word out of the dictionary a really difficult word I can do that, I can do that. and I need you to tell me three different definitions one of them needs to be the real definition, so okay. what the word actually means. And then two of them need to be pretend ones, okay? Yep. And we are going to guess what the real meaning of the word is. Do you think we've got, should, should we do a practice go first? You can pick an easy word. Yeah. Okay. Do a really, really easy practice one, just so, so we get the hang of it. What does gigantic mean? Does it mean something that's really, really big? Does it mean something that's made from rocks? Or... Does it mean something that flies in the sky? Okay. Gigantic. Gigantic. Is it something really big? Is it something that flies in the sky? Or is it something that's made from rocks? I think it is something really, really big. It is. There it's we go. Really, really so that's what we've got to do. So it's going to give us a word and it's going to give us three meanings. You've got and to guess. we've got to guess which one. But they're going to be really difficult it's words. It's going to be hard. Out of the, out of the uh, dictionary. But I believe in you. I think you I can do it. I believe in you. Okay. okay. First one, we'll start off hard. Whew, see how we do. Start off hard? Yeah, we'll start off hard. Okay. First word is Hippomonstrances quidalophobia. Hippomonstrances quidalophobia. Can you even say that? Hippo. Hippomonstrances. Hippomonstrances. Quidalophobia. Quidalophobia. Mm -hmm. So is it A? A place of hippo lips. That would make sense. B. Is it the fear of long words? Or C, is it something you have in your house? Okay, I don't know about you at home, but I'm thinking it's not something in the house because I think we would have heard it before. Maybe. Maybe. Hippo monstrance is quidalophobia. I'm thinking it could possibly be the hippo, the place of hippo Maybe. is because it says hippo at the beginning, doesn't Maybe. it? So yeah. hippo monstrance. Hippomonstrances. Quidalophobia. Quidalophobia. Okay. But thinking about it, it says phobia at the end, doesn't it? Mm. And if you're really clever, you know phobia means fear. So I think it could be the fear 
a oh, long, long word. word. So it's either but the it's place, a long word. Because it's a long word. So, why so would is it... it the place where the hippo lives, or is it? I, I'm really not. I'm really not the one where it's a place okay, where, okay. where probably in the house. Um. So it's fifty-fifty. Chris, can I phone a friend? No. <laughs> you have no friends. <laughs> um. I think. What do you think at home? What do you think at home? A, Shouts out. B or C. Put it in the comments. See what we do. I a, think. I'm going to go for, it's the fear of long words. Oh, it is. It's is B, it? the fear of long words. Wow. Hippo monstrances quadalophobia. I the think I have words. hippo monstrances quadalophobia. Okay. Okay. You ready for your, for your third word? She just fell over. Cod's wallop. Ooh. That sounds like, I don't know, I can just imagine people in movies saying that. Cod's wallop. Is it A, Cod's nonsense? Wallop. Does it mean, you know, like, nothing? B, is it something made from wood or c is it a name for a fisherman ah uh, okay okay i i'm gonna start ruling them out again so okay. what we've got we've so got a does it mean nonsense yeah b does it mean something made from wood yeah or c is it the name of a fisherman i don't think it's something made from wood okay okay um, I feel like it's something that people would say if it, like, something was nonsense. You go, oh, cod swallow. I can imagine that. Okay. But I also know that cod is a fish, mm. so I think it could possibly be, be a fish one. What do you think at home? A, B, or C? The C, the C. I'm going to go for C. I'm going to go for Ooh. C. I think it might be Ooh. a fisherman. Eh, eh. <gasps> It's A, it means nonsense. It's nonsense. Like, oh, that's Codswallop. Codswallop, Codswallop. That's my new word, I cool. think. Codswallop. If something's means nonsense, nonsense. Codswallop. Cool. When you tell me to do things, I'm going to be like, Codswallop. Codswallop. Are you all ready for your third word? Third one. Is this the last one? Or last what? one. Okay, last third one. and final. <sighs> so. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Can you spell it? No. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I F. I used so, to be able to. You have a look at the musical, a, they do all the actions. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Is it A? A flying man. Like a superhero. Super, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. B. Is it the name of somebody who is in government? That would be really funny. Sorry. My title is Sorry, Boris, you're out. Yeah. Sorry, Boris, or like, C. your name's not good enough. You're, mm. We need your a prime minister Supercalfra called Supercalifragilis Escalonatius. Or C, is it something extremely good, like it's the best thing ever? That would make sense as well, because it's super. We'll see. What do you think? Have a, you B, watched Mary Poppins? I think that gives away the answer a bit. It does a little bit. Super Have you seen Jones. the old Mary Poppins, not just the new one? The not old the proper, one. The proper Mary Poppins. You should watch that while she's sitting at home. Not sitting, but you know, while you're at home. What do you think it is though? I think it's either A or C. Okay, okay. So you don't think it's someone in government? I don't think it's someone in government. Although I do think that, you know, the Prime Minister's name should be Supercalifragilistic Expelladocious. Mm. I think that would be really funny. Can you imagine going on to BBC News in the evening? Here's Supercalifragilistic Expelladocious Prime Minister telling us what to do about coronavirus. Interesting. That would be hilarious. That would that would really lighten the news. Um, I think it might be C. Something C really, really stupid. You so would like, be... Right! Yeah! There you it's go. Extremely good. So if your tea is really nice tonight, you can be like, Mum, Mom, this Dad, is super this is super There you go. Or if you do something really cool, this is super car fragilist Are you? That's it. I'm going to start Are complimenting you? people like that. Are you? Are you? She's ignoring me. She's trying to eat a pineapple line. What can you do? She can't be a super She really likes fruit, doesn't she? I keep eating donuts, hence the massive donut. And she doesn't want donuts, she wants fruit. Cool. Cool, so now we've had three games. We've played with our salt dough. We've played Bop It. Done a dance. Bop It. We've done a dance. 
and we've also played Guessing the ga Guessing the Words. I don't really know what the game was called. Guess the, so it'd be Guess the Definition, wouldn't guess it? Guess the Definition. But well, Guess the Word. Guess the Word. Yeah. Cool. But now we have our story and we have a guest speaker. Ooh. We've got someone you all know and love. Is it Aria? It's, it's not Aria. It's not Aria. It's a shame, eh? Oh, she's upside down! She's upside down! Who's the guest speaker today then, Isaac? It is Beverly Scrimshaw. Ooh. Boom! Take it away, Bev. Alright then, Bev. Hiya! So last week we talked about Easter. It was Easter day and we heard about how Jesus had died. So what happened after Jesus died? Some of the, men, the women, Mary, and they'd seen Jesus at the tomb and he was risen. But not all the disciples saw Jesus. So what did they think? What was going to happen now? They'd been with Jesus for three years and then all of a sudden he wasn't there anymore. They'd heard rumours that he'd been risen, but they'd not seen him. Well, today I'm going to tell you a story about the times that Jesus came back to the disciples in different ways and at different times. One day, two men were walking on the road and they were very sad and they were going to a village called Emmaus. And as they were walking and they were talking about the things that had happened to Jesus, all of a sudden a stranger joined them and asked them why they were so sad. They said, haven't you heard? Jesus, who we thought was going to take over and rule, has been crucified. We believed that he was going to be our king, but now he's not there anymore. The stranger looked at them, surprised, and he said, don't you know the scriptures? Don't you know that Jesus should have died? And he started to speak to them about all the things that had been said in the past about how Jesus would come and die and be crucified to save people from their sins. As it got dark and they, they came to a village, they sat together and it was only then as they started to eat together, the stranger started to take the bread and break the bread to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they realised that this was Jesus that they'd been talking to all the time. Their hearts were very excited, their hearts burned within them and they were so excited. All of a sudden the stranger disappeared. The two men rushed back to Jerusalem to tell everybody that they had seen Jesus and they'd been speaking to him. That was just one of the accounts when Jesus came back to his disciples. There was numerous times that Jesus came. There was one time when Peter himself went back fishing He'd been following Jesus for three years and going about, doing good and healing the sick. And then all of a sudden Jesus wasn't there. Peter went back fishing and his disciples with him. And there they were at night time fishing on the, on the lake. But they caught no fish. They were so tired. But in the morning, as the light dawned on the, on the beach, there they saw Jesus. Them. Bring some fish. Peter said, we haven't caught any fish. Jesus said to them, put your net on the other side. And as they let down the net, they caught a great amount of fish. As they came to the beach, Jesus had already prepared the breakfast for them. He'd, he'd done some fish and got some bread. And he spoke with them many, many times. But one of the disciples named Thomas was never seen to be there when Jesus arrived. And he says, I'm not going to believe that Jesus was risen from the dead. Unless I see him with my own eyes, unless I see the nail prints in his hands and his feet, I'll not believe. It was not long after that, when they were gathered together, that Jesus appeared to them. And he spoke directly to Thomas and said, Thomas, look at my hands, look at my feet. It is me. I am risen. There was many, many other times that Jesus appeared to the disciples over the coming weeks. But one time when he was talking with them, 
his disciples watched as he was taken up into heaven. Jesus gave instructions to the disciples to say, go and tell everybody about what you know, about how I am risen and how I've come to save people from the sins and to give them a home in heaven. And as they watched, Jesus was taken up to heaven. And he said, one day, just as I've gone, I will return and come to take you all to come and live with me. This is the hope that we have as Christians, that one day we shall go and live with him in heaven. Didn't Bev do a good job, then? That was a lovely, that lovely really story. Nice. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, then, that's it for today. Yeah. So there's your, your photos of your salt dough and different things and your videos of your competition with your parents, mm. bop it. We want to see everything that you've been doing, keep in contact with us, and we hope you have a really good week. Shall we yeah. pray before we finish? Shall we pray? You can pray I'll pray, I'll pray. Because I always pray. Okay, I'm Sierra. Dear Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. thank you very much for having a good time at this church. Thank you for us to be able to learn more about you, and thank you for keeping us safe during this time. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Stay safe and we will see you online next yeah. week. Mm -hmm. Woo! Say bye, Ari. Bye bye. Say bye. Okay, if you enjoyed that video this week, remember to give us a little like and subscribe on our YouTube channel so that you can be updated every time that we have a new video out. See you later. Yeah. <laughs>